Hey friends, if you want to connect your Dialogflow agent to OpenAI, then you are looking at the right video. In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your existing Dialogflow ES or CX agent with OpenAI. So let's get started. Before we move forward, I would like to show you that I have created two video, one on Dialogflow CX and one on Dialogflow ES, which connects to OpenAI GPT-3 using Node.js. So if you want to use Node.js, then you can, you know, close this video and go to this video. But if you want to use Python, then I have specially created this repository and you can follow the steps I'm going to show you in the video and you will have your connection. Before we move forward into the development section, you must have either Dialogflow ES or CS account or both. Then open AI API key. You go to open AI, create your account and on the top right corner, you will see this view API keys. You can get your API key here and don't expose this API key. It's very sensitive information. Then you will need ngrock for local testing and Python programming language. So once you have these things ready, then you can either clone this repository or download it as a zip file. And if you do so, please consider giving it a star. It helps. I have already downloaded the zip file on my local machine. Here you need to create first a .env file. This .env file contains this key OpenAI API key and the value will be your OpenAI API key. Once you set that, we need to create a virtual environment. I'll use python-m for module venv to create a virtual environment venv. So this will create a folder like this. Once you do that, then you need to activate it. In uh, my Linux machine, it's venv bin and activate. If you are on Windows, then it will be venv scripts and activate. Once you activate uh, this virtual environment, you need to install two things pip install flask and open AI. You hit enter and this will install the packages inside the virtual environment. Meanwhile, let me walk you through the code. So we have this run.py. This is our entry point. It calls this Python Flask application. Here we create a Python Flask application which has three routes. First, home route to make sure the application is working. Another Dialogflow ES receive message. Here we will receive messages from Dialogflow ES version and Dialogflow CX receive message. Here we will receive messages from Dialogflow CX and we will be generating a response and send it back as a response. So the all packages are installed. This small warning says that you can upgrade your pip version and I'll do that. Meanwhile, let me open a new terminal. I will start ngrock on port 5000. Here, I'll start the run file using python run.py command and I'll hit enter. Oh, sorry, I forgot to install .env, so it will pip install python.env. 
let me quickly create a requirements.txt file let me first check the working okay so let me create it pip freeze requirements.txt okay let me run the run file so when i click on this you can see our uh, local environment is up and running now let me click on this ngrock url and if i view site we will see that now it is connected to our local host i'll copy this first i'll go to dialog flow es module inside fulfillment and here i'll provide the link followed by our path which is from here okay dialog flow es receive message dialog flow es receive message i'll save it so in the intent where you want to call open ai you need to do some configuration so here in my case i just want to connect default fallback intent with open ai so when user writes something that any intent doesn't catch then it will go to fallback and i'll have my response from open ai so i'll go to default fallback intent here you can see that i have enable fulfillment I have provided a uh, accent name input unknown though I'm not going to use it here but in case you want to use it you can segregate different accent and perform different task here so let me save this so when I say hi this message will come from default welcome intent but when I say what is SOS then that message is coming from our webhook and if we go to diagnostic info and fulfillment status then it's successful and fulfillment response is the text which is sent by our webhook and if we go here you can see indeed we have got a request here so what happens is that when default fallback intent fires it will send a request like this to our webhook and we get the query here and we go to uh, text completion this text completion function calls open ai and get response for us so this will generate a response and send it back to the response of the request of dialog flow so this part is for dialog flows es module let's come to the cx version on cx version you need to go to manage and inside webhooks i already have created a webhook so let me just uh, quickly copy the url and i'll go to this uh, url section and i'll provide my url followed by dialog flow cx receive message and let me save this if i go to build section here inside uh, default welcome intent I have connected it to webhook also on system no match default I have connected it to webhook so that means any request coming from dialogflow CX is come here and we generate a response using our text completion function and send it back to the user so let's test this so when I say hi this response is coming from webhook when i say what is sos 
this response again is coming from webhook so i hope you have gained some knowledge from this very quick tutorial in case if you want to uh, learn more about dialog flow cx and es then you can uh, watch my youtube channel i have some cool videos on that as well again a humble request if you copy the code from my github repository please consider giving a star here so i guess this is it from this part of the video see you in other videos on my youtube channel thank you for watching peace